it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video, I'll review lots of tricks with copy and paste and cut and paste, and I'll explain how to use the Format Painter. Let's get started. So first I'd like to go over the four different ways to copy. First you can use in the Home tab in the Clipboard group, there's a copy in here. Now that will place a copy of the selection on the clipboard so you can paste it elsewhere. And the second way to copy would be to right click on your selection and select copy. And then the third and fourth ways are using your keyboard. You can use your keyboard to copy by pressing Control Insert or you can press Control C. Next, let's review three different ways to cut selected text or objects. Now, I'll still have that picture um, selected. Now, cut would be if you wanted to move because you're removing it from the original location and then pasting it in the new location. So you can use from the Home tab in the Clipboard group, you can use the cut here. You can also right click and select cut. Or you can use the keyboard equivalent to cut, which is Control X. So first, before you paste, if especially if you're going to paste on a different slide, then you want to move to the destination slide. So let's say in this example, I want to move the picture onto this slide. So let me just go back and cut that out for a second. And I'll move to this slide, and I'll just go ahead and paste. Now, if I don't... I'll make a selection from the various paste options. If I just go ahead and paste just by clicking here, it's just going to paste the picture but not really give me any options. So let me just show you the difference here. Now I can also click on the drop down here and depending on what you have selected to cut or copy, the paste options may be different. This gives me two paste options. I can use my destination theme or I can paste as picture and it will vary if it's a picture or text. Now I can also right click and choose the paste options via the right click menu. Now let me show you the difference between um, pasting a picture and pasting text. And by the way, I just wanted to also mention that you can also paste with your keyboard with Control V or Shift Insert. Okay, so let's look at another example with text. So I'm going to move up here. Okay, so in this next example, I'm going to show you uh, some different paste options, but I'm going to select text this time to copy and paste. Now, there's a couple different ways you can copy and paste text. You can select the actual text, which I'm going to do, and paste that in an existing box in text box on another slide. You can also click on the text box itself. And now if I click Control C to copy that, and then I want to move over to slide three. Now if I paste it with Control V, I, I still have my existing um, placeholder in the background subtitle, so that's going to require me to do some extra steps. So I'm going to undo that and show you a different way. So go to slide two again, and this time, instead of just picking the box, I'm going to actually uh, triple click um, to select all the text in that text box and then copy that. And now when I move to slide three, I'm going to actually, I love my triple click, triple click inside the text box. And now, now when I right click and paste, I could use the existing text box um, to just paste that text into and I can choose the different paste options and the best one is the second one, Keep Source Formatting and that will keep that um, original font. Now I don't like the color but I like the size but it, it will save me steps. So I'm going to select Keep Source Formatting and then all I have to do is change the color and I'll show you another trick. When you change the color I love to use this eyedropper. So the eyedropper would let you select a color that is uh, possibly, you know, on the same slide, or even if you change the size of your PowerPoint slide, you could use the eyedropper and grab color off of another graphic in another window. But in this case, uh, I'm going to pick the blue color and click off of it. And there you go. And so I'm going to do the same thing to two more slides. I'm going to click on the 
next slide here and again use the keep source formatting and then I'm in there I'm going to use the eyedropper again and this time let's see I'll go with maybe the dark red that looks nice and finally I'll go to this uh, final slide here and paste keep source formatting and here I'll select again and use the eyedropper and this time select the red and let me see how that looks so I have spring summer now fall and autumn and winter have the same color so I want to change this to maybe like a yellowish so I'm going to triple click here and use the eyedropper again and maybe pick this yellow Ooh, that doesn't look too good okay so let me undo that uh, maybe the green so let's do eyedropper one more time and pick green and I think that will be perfect when you thought the options for pasting were over there are a few more from the home tab I can click on the drop down under paste and in addition to those four um, options you saw there's also paste special now paste special provides some additional options for you to paste as HTML format a rich text format unformatted text or various image formats like ping JPEG uh, GIF and bitmap now also there is an additional paste link here that is dim that becomes available if you're pasting a hyperlink okay so next I want to talk about the format painter so the format painter is this little paintbrush here so if you like the look and formatting of your presentation on one slide you could apply that look to other content in your presentation now of course if you want to make global changes it's best to use the slide master and for that I'll see my other video on the slide master but let's say there's just a few slides that you've already pretty much formatted and then you decide that you want to change say the font on maybe three or four slides and you want to save some steps first to use the format painter you want to click on the text or object which contains the formatting that you would like to duplicate so first let's make a change to this let's go to the spring slide and let's change the font and maybe the color of the uh, main title okay so if we wanted to apply that particular format to slides three four and five right now I have the text selected that I'd like the formatting that I want to apply to another slide so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the format painter and then I'm going to click on slide three and then what I'm going to do is press and drag over the existing text and that changed the color and the font but now notice that my uh, cursor which had a little paintbrush no longer has the paintbrush I'm going to undo this just because I want to show you a faster way so say you wanted to apply this quickly to three slides then what you want to do is once you select the text and actually all you have to really do is click anywhere inside that particular text that contains the format I'm going to double click this time on format painter and when I do you'll see that I can apply using the format painter more than once so now I'm going to flip over to slide three and press and drag and I'm going to jump over to slide four press and drag and slide slide five press and drag and voila I was able to grab the formatting and apply it to multiple slides and notice that the paintbrush is still next to my cursor so now I'm going to hit escape because I don't want to apply the formatting and to any further slides well that's it for today's video I hope you found this video helpful if you like this video please click like if you like my channel please click subscribe I'll see you in the next video